Hey binge watchers, my name is Pratik and welcome to Exhibit. Today we are going to talk about something very interesting, something we all love. How big is Netflix? A journey from a DVD rental store to a streaming service giant. Let's just dive right in. People might forget the Prime Minister's name in a few years, but they'll never forget Netflix. It makes such a vast impact on society today. Netflix is absolutely dominating the streaming video market with 200 million subscribers and counting across 190 countries. With that, the day is not far when Netflix will bundle up the TV industry and cable services. But there it was a time when even Netflix struggled to get recognition. How exactly did Netflix start? Netflix began as the world's first online DVD rental store in 1997, when almost half of their current subscribers were about to land on the planet. The founder duo Mark Randolph and Reed Hastings started the business with only 30 employees and 925 available titles. At first, Netflix used to deliver film DVDs to its customers by mail and customers used to return them the same particular way. The company set similar prices and due dates for rentals to compete with the established blockbuster video rental business. After struggling in the initial years, Netflix reached around 5.6 million subscriptions during the end of 2006 and decided to seize the benefits from the then developing higher bandwidth internet by launching online video streaming service in 2007 alongside its dominant DVD by mail option. 2011 marked a significant year for Netflix as the streaming service reached over 23 million subscribers in the United States by April of 2011 and branched out to the international market of Latin America. Looking forward to the success of July 2011, Netflix changed its prices, charging customers for its mail rental service and streaming service separately. Later on, in the next couple of years, Netflix moved further and launched itself worldwide except for a select few countries. Introduction of the Video On Demand Service Netflix delivered its billionth DVD in February of 2007 and commenced to move away from its core business model of DVDs by introducing Video On Demand via the internet. These were the times when internet broadband service providers came up with affordable plans for their customers and personal computers got powerful enough to stream online and download movies from the internet. Netflix Video On Demand service, formerly branded as Watch Now, allowed its subscribers to stream television series and films whenever and wherever they wanted via the Netflix website on personal computers or the Netflix software on multiple supported platforms like smartphones, tablets, digital media players and smart televisions without even being attached to a schedule. Netflix Originals A Netflix original is a type of content produced, co-produced or distributed by Netflix exclusively on its services. Netflix offers creators a new approach of making by providing the money upfront and immediately ordering two seasons of most series by introducing Netflix original in 2013, when several other known studios and producers were used to fund and sign projects based on pilot episodes, a brave and expensive proposition was made by Netflix. The decision created its impact as most big budget and talked about new series evolved out on Netflix instead of other established networks, including House of Cards, Hemlock Grove and Orange is the new black. Netflix continued to dramatically expand its original content by introducing scripted and unscripted categories. They added TV series, shows and films in the scripted categories while documentaries, reality shows and award shows were unscripted. After the tremendous success of regional content in the English language, Netflix ventured out and started producing series and films in non-English languages. Let's take a look at the most watched Netflix originals. The Witcher 3 Season 1 76 million viewers, Lupin 70 million viewers, Money Heist Season 4 65 million viewers, Stranger Things Season 3 64 million viewers, Tiger King 64 million viewers again. Netflix in India Netflix arrived in India in January 2016, almost at the same time when Eros Now and Hotstar introduced a video on demand service in India. Crime thriller like Sacred Games, directed by filmmaker Vikramaditya Motwane, was Netflix's first big global success coming out of India. 
and with Delhi Crime winning precious Emmy Award, it added a much-awaited dove feather on its cap. Let's take a look at the top Indian shows on Netflix. Sacred Games, Delhi Crime, Selection Day, Bard of Blood, Jamtara. The Netflix playback feature. On November 30th, 2016, Netflix introduced an offline playback feature, enabling users of the Netflix mobile apps on Android or iOS to watch content on their devices in standard or high quality for viewers without an internet connection. Also, Netflix lets people choose the speed they want to watch something on their phone or tablet with new playback controls where they can stream at either 0.5x or 0.75x speeds for slowed down viewing or 1.25x or 1.5x speeds for faster watching. The feature was originally available on limited series and films, but Netflix said that the feature would support more content over time. Well, we just found out that Netflix is huge and video on demand services are not dying anytime soon. With 5G coming in and many other devices and broadband becoming faster each and every week, it is just apparent that Netflix and other video on demand services are going to strive. Well, this was Prateek and you were watching How Big Is Netflix? I'm sure you've gained some knowledge about Netflix and you can share this video with anybody else who's interested or loves Netflix. Until next time, like, share, subscribe, do all the good things in life and good things will come to you. Bye.